Good morning guys, or afternoon, wherever you are. So you heard it first on this channel. Novonix is raising $115 million to build out the anode facility. So this festival raising will allow Novonix to fund CapEx to increase production of Novonix anode materials to 10,000 tons per annum. So this material, I think the margin on it is 5 grand. So that's $50 million a year coming in for Novonix. Get them started. And... Yeah, you can read this stuff. Type in Novonix announcements. ASX isn't on their website yet, but it's on the ASX. Well, you just heard it first from me. So they're raising this money to build out the anode, and they're going to 10,000. And we'll look at the roadmap here. They've actually got a presentation on this raising as well. Most of it is old news if you follow Novonix. But the exciting thing I saw, they updated their anode capacity you can go through this yourself go to ASX uh, Novonix announcements uh, just trying to find this 150 here we are oh here we are so this used to be a hundred thousand tons and now they've upped it to 150,000 tons meaning 30 percent more money than previously announced and I believe they said they're going for 10 percent of the market when they said a hundred thousand tons so maybe they're going for a bit more of the market and I don't see why not because they're the best in the game so right now 2021 I'm not sure how long this pilot plan will take to build to get to 10,000 tons per annum but that's 2021 so they're on track and don't see why they can't just build more and more with that 50 million they'll get from the 10,000 tons don't quote me on that they could get 20 million because it could be a 2,000 dollar increase so they're the main facts and now I'm just going to blabber on more about Novonix for those who want to listen. So we'll come down here. We'll go to the top, sorry. So most accurate battery testing technology. So Novonix sends out people battery testing equipment or people send them samples of their stuff for them to test. So Novonix is in the know and so why not make their own materials because Who's else, who else is going to do it better than them? So they also signed a deal with Emra. Emra is a $12 billion company. And they're going to build out things. So say a school has solar panels on the roof and a battery pack. And then it will talk to other buildings in the school and to share storage as needed. If you go to Emra's site, there's a good video on that, what they're doing. Novonix is with them. So obviously Novonix can uh, make this stuff for them. It's a big boost for Novonix. Novonix is just the best, in my opinion. So these is Novonix customers. So vice versa, Novonix can test their batteries. They can sell them equipment to test the batteries themselves. But Novonix has the expertise, and they're in bed with all these companies. So coming down here, these all these lithium companies. Special battery. I'm not sure exactly what this means. I think it's just lithium producers, um, special battery materials producers, and then we got the battery cell and pack production, and then all the EV and OEM, so Tesla could also be in this one as well, etc. And definitely see Novonix, because Novonix has NO materials, cathode materials, and electrolyte. So this is further down the track. But they're looking at electrolytes as well. Long life electrolytes. So basically, Novonix is going to build the whole battery. It's just a matter of time. And we'll see a Novonix battery going into a lot of cars. So this slide basically says, yeah, you can have natural, which is not very good, cycle life low. You can have high grade, synthetic high. You can have their anode, very high. And yes, the dollars might be a bit more compared to uh, natural well it says about the same but you're getting a way better value for your money going with synthetic because you're getting so much more drive miles so down here uh, that's a thousand cycles so your million mile battery which you probably don't need but you'll get anyway because then you can charge your house off your car do a lot of cycles it sits around 3,000 to 4,000 uh, cycles so Novonix is going to cruise through that one so we're probably these ones Tesla might fall short around 2,000 and natural is not going to have a chance so you want the long life thing so you can drive your car around all day especially if you're a taxi 
and then you can come home at night and all of your cars parked in the garage you can be charging your car from the solar panels and yeah so back to this large scale so they're going to be making 150,000 tons which I think will be 750 million dollars uh, in margin so then they have to pay back on their factories etc but that's quite a lot of money and then they'll reinvest that money into making the whole battery themselves I'm saying it again and again but that's probably what's going to happen so thanks for listening and subscribe to me for updating Navonics news I could talk about Navonics off by heart because I read about them so much and also stay tuned for other battery stocks lithium stocks I'm looking at looking at low I'm looking at anything EV and batteries so stick with me for fair assessments I'm not going to hyper stock like you see some people doing I'm going to give you the truth even though I'm a bit hyper on Novonics but yeah Novonics I think is streets ahead because they got the knowledge and with that knowledge they're going to turn that material into cash and thanks for listening see you in the next one